Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends and welcome back to another weekly salt ration with you and me together we could accomplish great things and uh, speaking of great things the Ohio is going to be the uh, subject matter and once again for this this stream so uh, keep that in mind uh, I don't know how long I'll be streaming for. I'm going to shoot for right around two hours. Uh, what am I doing? Holiday deal. Free crate. Free crate. Zoo, I should say. You do get two crates now for uh, the month of December, or at least this update, I think. So, at least that's a thing. Two is better than one. Speaking of one, can we get a level two crate? Oh. Ah worth a shot is what it is welcome 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 today i'm gonna just see how much damage we can get in the ohio i want i want to try legitimately to to do some serious damage in the ohio and to do so i think we're gonna have to make some slight tweaks to our azure lane new jersey um As much as I like this build, I'm thinking we may end up swapping out Palo de Rebel to get a little bit of extra range. So currently we have a reload time of 24.8 seconds. If we swap out Palo de Rebel for Megatron, I believe is German. Germans. That's uh, Starscream. There it is. Megatron. And we go ahead and do that. How much does that make our uh, reload change? 26. Okay, so not a huge difference, but look at the range difference, boys. I think that's going to be the big one. I think being able to reach out just that little bit further and hit those people that are trying to stay at range. People are starting to catch on that the Ohio's big weakness is its range. So I think a slightly, what, about less than a second difference in reload time isn't necessarily going to change a whole lot. But that extra range, being able to keep the gun cycling even longer, seems like I think it would be the better bet. So that's what we're going to go with here. Um... I actually could even go even further and uh, let, let's go and look at our commanders and see if there's a way to uh, make that even better. So we go to our German commanders and we go to Megatron. We are currently a legendary one commander, right? So uh, if we go up, we could get this up by another 0.3 pretty easily because I'm sure we've got the, the whatchamacallits for it accommodations remember we just got some so yeah we can go up by another one so that gives us a 0.3 percent right so we're not quite maxed out on megatron but it is definitely a thing so we will see what we can do what does that now make our uh range in ohio is it over 20 kilometers i don't think you need 20 kilometers of range i'm just saying like it's better to have extra range and not need it on this ship because it just means you're going to be able to shoot at that many more targets, right? Remember, she's slow. So being able to reach out and touch things is kind of nice. And 19.9. Uh, okay. So not a big difference between what we just had and now. But but still, 19.9 is about a full kilometer farther than we previously had. Maybe even slightly more. I think it was 18.7 is what we, we had before. So, yeah. This is... Uh, this is this is a big difference. All right, let's take her into combat, see how she does, shall we? Let's let's see what we got. Who's in chat? Dewan, Permichael, not Will, Christopher with a K, Liam, Barr, Mr. Monkey, uh, Martin, Dylan, Cody, Owen, Ender, Legit, Triple H, DK, Ivar, uh, Caraver. I hope that's how you spell your name, but uh, welcome. Uh, Taller Tog, Kareem, Tuna, Tommy Tolpa, 
Ernie, Manuel, Abdullah, Dejan, Lurking, Stax, Miles, DePriest, Trying to, oh, got it skipped on me. Tollertog, Darkwing, see you later. Eris, dude, hi. Monty's in the chat. Uh oh. Uh, Ohio's fantastic, Monty. I don't know if I don't know if somebody of your particular skills could could make the most of it though. <laughs> what up, Chan? How's it going, Spider Man friend? What about USS Wisconsin? It doesn't exist in the game. Nick Jones. All right, here we go. Oh my God, of course. Of course, you build for range and the first thing you get is a tiny map full of destroyers. And most of them she yep. Shocker. Oh look, very first game. Griffin's in here. Um, Who else we got? Is that the only one so far? Oh, nope, Vel Velpa's in here. We, we've got we've got two people that I know are in chat already. Lord have mercy. First game in the stream is six minutes and forty six seconds, and I have not been able to get into a single game without a without a potential stream sniping situation. What a fantastic fantastic streaming experience for the for the best of us. All right, let's see what happens. Is anybody going to get spotted here? Of course they are. We get that beaut- Oh, we got the blind fire over the island, too. They're not gonna see it. It looks solid. Uh, it's a little late, but we'll take it. Should've- should've aimed a little further forward there. Unfortunate. We got Conqueror over here. We're gonna aim a little further forward on this leap. Speaking of Isle, he's turning out though. That looks much better. Ah! How is that so bad? Alright, Giuseppe's here. Gotta be careful. I think we've gotten the attention of this Schlieffen. Rear turns will make it through that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn back out. Um, get ready to engage this conqueror in a fight to the death. I would like to get turned away here. Oh god! Yo, bar coming in, dropping a two-dollar super jet. How to Ohio? I mean, I basically am right now. Just keep an eye out. We're basically doing a how to Ohio right now. He's actually got AP. Li no, that's AP. Oh no, he double fires me. Oh, Have fun with that, Sunshine. Also, you just took a torpedo. Alright, we know Giuseppe was over here. The problem is we have lots of yeah. Just use my... Turn oil, turn, turn, turn. Woo! Oh! <laughs> I wasn't scared. You were scared. Good lord, this ship. Ah, oh, I like it. I ain't gonna lie. So we have four destroyers, and none of them on my team are anywhere near a goddamn position to be useful. Ah! So yeah, one of their destroyers went, well, of course, I, four destroyers on my team, and all of them are dead. They all went to the exact same location, and every one of them are dead. What a great gaming experience at Legendary Tier, I'm telling you. Ugh, it's the worst. It's actually the worst. You legitimately have no counter to these bastards at, at Legendary Tier, because nobody plays the counters. And then when they do play the counters, nobody knows how to play the counters, so they just get yeeted. 
what an unfortunate situation where we find ourselves in. Dozer coming in with the $40 bomb out of nowhere. Merry early Christmas to you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so, back on the uh, How to Ohio. Basically, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Arthas this too. Yeah, I was going to say, that should be a decent pin angle. Um, it's still early. I still don't have all of the nuances of this ship. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping that, uh, you know, as... As we get, uh, you know, more and more comfortable with the ship, that we'll be able to do more and more. Uh, but right now we are we are fighting for our lives against a bunch of hidden ships that we cannot do anything to because we can't see them. Front guns should have a decent pin angle on the conch. I lied. Apparently he got turned in enough. But no, that, that's accurate as crap. Poorly aimed, but accurate as crap. Aryama's dead already. What am I supposed to do? Like, like the, the whole team is dead. We don't even have a chance. What are you doing, Sunshine? You think I won't? You think I won't? Huh? Come on, baby. Uh, Chris Tran, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, Samuel Dixon, thank you for the nine months. I'm sorry, you guys are way faster than I can keep up with at the moment. Okay, we take a big hit there. We're gonna aim high. Go ahead, hit the damage gone. We got Arthas. That was huge. That was huge. We're going to showcase the survivability of this thing one way or another. We know we have the destroyer. We have not set a fire with our secondaries yet, but there hasn't been anything in secondary range. We know that we also have to think about torpedoes potentially coming from that small one. Instantly back, double fired. That should be the end of the punk. Ah, yeah, we're, done. we're done. This is just an unfortunate game. I mean, there's nothing you can do in this situation other than what we've already done. Do we sit at Ellen? Nah, not quite. I was hoping he, he got open. That, if that was the front guns, I think we would have sent it out of there. But because it was the rear guns, they're coming in at too steep of an angle. There's there's nothing you can do when you're up against four destroyers and every one of your destroyers is a moron. I'm sorry. Like, there's nothing you can do in that situation. We had zero help in this entire lobby. Everyone on our team was an absolute goofball. So, hopefully the next couple of games will be better. But let me get caught up with you guys. You guys are crazy. So, Bar Marco, thank you for the $2. Uh, the How to Ohio, I'm already trying to do as we speak right now. Uh, just got to get used to the ship, try to figure out the nuances. I'm pretty good with Montana, so I, I like that we got the uh, perma fire as we died, though, with the secondaries. So, one fire. Uh, normally, these, these secondaries will set more fires, but we didn't really get a chance to get a whole lot out of them. Um... Dozer, thank you for the $40, my dude. Appreciate you. I'm glad you enjoy. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you as well. Uh, Chris Tran, thank you for the $5. And Samuel Dixon, thank you for re-upping for nine months. Uh, we did everything we could in that one. We still put up over 100k damage. Uh, just showcasing the strength of this thing. Like, this thing is insane. Like, make no mistakes about it. I, I still say that this thing's going to be nerfed. Obviously, nobody on the team really did anything. The guy that spawned next to us still put up a 1,000, but he was in a Yama and threw all of his hit points away so quick, it was actually kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know how he lost so many hit points so quick other than just going broadside to something. Um, 
But yeah, our destroyers were a complete letdown in that one. So let's hope, let's hope that the next couple of games here will we'll get a better better overall gaming experience and not just a entire lobby of destroyers that don't know what they're doing on one team and then destroyers just moving around doing what they're supposed to do on the other team. Uh, but thank you guys for, for all the kind donations already. You guys are crazy. Get, get some goats in the chat for all those folks. Fresh Potato in the chat, good to see you. Uh, legit, I think I already called you out. Ivan, good to see you. Ricky, uh, DJ, I may have called you out. I can't remember. Many Warbirds. Uh, Mecca Churchill, good to see you guys. Um, let's see, who else we got? Quin Quintanza? Is that your name? I think it is. It's hard for me to read. I just woke up, guys. I'm sorry. Um, was a rough night last night. Clumsy, good to see you. Snips flips. All right, let, let's try. Two bro oh, God. So what is it? Okay, I love the map, and I'm definitely gonna do the thing. Like, don't even, don't even. Oh my God, TTV's in here. Look, you just, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to play the game and not, not have like people trying to get in. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a coincidence, right? That in the very first two games, we've already had at least three different people that I know are in chat. Maybe it's just a coincidence, like. Literally two games in, we've seen three separate names that I know are in chat. Like, come on. Hi. How are you? Hi. It's a car not. It's a car not. All right. I like to get the guns on the left side here because I like to use the inside edge. As long as we don't get rushed by a destroyer, which one of them just happens to be. You notice how they're all in destroyers too? Yeah, you, you ever notice that? It's like, oh, Spartans in a in a battleship. We're gonna make sure we all load in in destroyers. Shocker. Shocker. Okay, one DD's in in Delta, so that's good news for us. We've got Carnot and Des Moines over there. This guy's name is Kiting, you know, so I wonder what he's gonna do. First of all, if you're in a Des Moines and your entire, like, game plan is to kite, I'm sorry, but I don't respect you. <laughs> Just say it. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't respect you if your entire game plan is to kite in a Des Moines. Des Moines is so powerful when used properly. And kiting is not using a Des Moines properly. Lord have mercy. I can't get a game where I have a destroyer player on my team capable of thinking and breathing. It doesn't happen. It doesn't. Look at him. First person dead inside three minutes. Inside two minutes. Ain't even two minutes into the game. Our destroyer's already dead. Really? <laughs> what? Oh, great. Well. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you torpedo bitch! Ah! America better! There's a new king in town, motherfucker! You think you're all special with your little fucking torpedo battleship? Well, I got news for you! I got news for you! It ain't worth it! Don't get into this situation against my Ohio. You will not enjoy yourself. Oh, I, it's just, this is, mm, couldn't have asked for a better start if I asked, if I wanted to. Look, both of my destroyers are dead, and a cruiser is dead, and I have dev struck a battleship as the only person that has actually contributed to my team's success so far. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, folks. You can't make it up. That, I ain't gonna lie, man. That was, that was so fucking satisfying. Knowing that I'm gonna eat torpedoes, but getting that fucking dev strike was so god dang satisfying. I will take that. Obviously, I've got to worry about that destroyer coming back and fighting us. He's not going into the alpha cap, so... I don't want to go too crazy here. Let's, let's try to keep it within reason. I didn't see what the battleship was that was on the left. Oh, it's a fucking Yamato. And I am 
way over angled, folks. Way over angled. We did break his gun. We're gonna try to get this thing moving in reverse. Got the secondaries rolling as well. Is this guy not playing? Oh, it's it's Velpa again. I know that guy. Where have I seen that name before? Oh shit. Hi, sunshine. How are you? The last time somebody tried this, it didn't work out in their favor, Gary. Would you like to give it a shot? Buttery smooth. Buttery get smooth. Okay, Velpa apparently is not playing. I don't know why. But I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to do what I got to do. You know, we got choices. We got to do things. Our team is suddenly deciding to uh, do things. A little bit, anyway. I think I will go ahead and switch to HE since this guy seems to not be playing. I will uh, go ahead and try to burn him down. I don't know what's going on. He normally uh, gets into my games and plays, so if he's not going to, we will back off. We got the uh, fire on him there. See if we can get a good shot into him with HE. Switch back to AP. Okay, there's the triple fire. If he's not actually playing, that triple fire is catastrophic for him. All right, we won the right side, it looks like. Okay, Montana goes down. I think we discouraged the uh, little turd burglar. This guy doesn't appear to know that we exist, so we're going to Arthas the shit out of his broadside. Oh my god, this ship is so good! I love this ship! I love it! God bless America indeed! Let's go! I am going, I am going forth. I am about to spread the wealth, baby. When was the last time you sit it down a conqueror, folks? When was the last time you sit it down a conqueror? We got Kakarot over here. Our secondary should be able to deal with him if he comes out. We do know there's a battleship here, and this is scary. Okay, we are turning towards him. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're actually fine. All right, Maine. Let's go for round number two. Same map, too. I ain't playing around this time. Last time I got in a fight with a main, it did not, like, go as expected. So I'm expecting to do good things here. Not gonna lie. Where's this little turd burglar at? Show yourself, coward! Fight me! Fight me! Oh, are you running? You're running! Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Come on! Don't be a bitch! Fight me! Come on. Come on. Okay, it looks like HE going after that main. Come here, sunshine. Don't run from me. You're only gonna die tired. Where you going, sunshine? Come on. You know you want it. I'll be, I'll be gentle. Okay, maybe not gentles. Maybe that's not the word. But... Alright. You want to play this game? I'm going super structured. Yeah, you like that? 
Two of your guns knocked out, too, and an instant fire. Let's go. Oh, and a damage con. Oh, he's opening up the angle. We're going to beat his reload, so if he turns this corner thinking he's getting away with it, we're going to have Arthas on a broadside main. Go ahead. Yeah, that's my belt, sunshine. You like that? There. Hold these. He didn't finish the turn, unfortunately, but we just aim high in those situations. We've already beat our damage record, I think, at this point. Or close to it. Alright. Like I said, if your goal is to kite in a god dang Des Moines, I don't respect you. Hold these. Roto Rooter! Engaged! Ah, uh, he didn't finish his turn. He kind of like turned back and then just stopped. Got the fire though. Secondary's doing their job. Just want to point out, our secondaries, well, I guess we did set the double fire with the, uh, the primaries at one point. Another high shot. We've got the uh, heal going. There's a citadel. Turn in. We see the we see the torps. I'm gonna say thank you. Ohio's here! Ohio's here! You can't fuck with me! Ah! <laughs> Let's go! I am on fucking fire! I quit! I quit! This is it! This is the last game of the stream! I appreciate everybody! Oh, Lord have mercy! Oh, Jesus. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. We got the shot off! Fire! Fire the shells! Oh, we missed! I tried to, I tried to rush the shell. Dude, what a fucking game. What a game. Holy, hey, YouTube indeed. Welcome to the stream. I apologize for all the language, but my God, was that not worth it. That game is going to go down as one of the most insane games I've ever had. Uh, if, if, um, what was his name? If Velpa is in the chat, if you're joining the games and going AFK like that on purpose, whether you're on my team or the enemy team, I don't care. Like, you need to stop. That is the kind of stuff that can get you in trouble with wargaming. All right? Can get both of us potentially in trouble. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hopefully we did enough to give our team the chance here. Like, I've tried. I did everything I could. Took down one of the... That blind fire on that fucking gearing. You, mwah, just too good. Too good. The dev strike on the Schlieffen. Like, all the things. 264,000 damage. We've only had the ship for a couple days. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. If somebody out there doesn't get the... If they get the perfect game with this ship, there's no problem that they're, they're going to put up 350k plus. Guarantee. Guarantee. This ship is capable of ridiculous damage. Oh my god, that thing was beautiful. Ah, oh. mm. you cannot handle me. Stop trying. <laughs> uh, it's just unfortunate that once again, our, our best games are going to be a loss here. Uh, like we try, we can only do so much. Like we had so much to overcome and our team is just not going to be able to help us. Unfortunately, looks like this will be a loss, but uh, still a hell of a game. Still a hell of a game. Welcome to the stream. Nukta, thank you for re-upping for 13 months, my dude. Oh, God. There is just nothing more satisfying than what this game just was. Yeah, we get killed in the end, but we got the little bastard, right? 
We got the little bastard. We punched the Des Moines got away with with murder there. We probably should have gotten more on the Des Moines, but you know, is what it is. We had other th other priorities at the time, so he gets away with it. But uh, but yeah, we slapped the main around. We killed a destroyer. We dev struck a Schlieffen. We killed a Yama relatively easy. We Citadel the Conqueror. Like good God, man, this ship is so good. Now the damage, the damage is gonna have an asterisk because at least 96k of the damage was on the Yamato that wasn't playing. So we'll, we'll throw an asterisk up on that. Okay, that, that's an asterisk. So in terms of overall damage, I I don't think that that was the best game ever, uh, but we'll, we'll do better. But overall, I, I still think we did really well in this game, so, despite despite having like nobody on the team contributing. Like, we had people ca capture bases, and the right side seemed to at least win their cap, or win their side. But we were the only ones to really make any sort of impact in the battle. We killed four of the ships that are dead, and there's only uh, six ships dead, so... That tells you everything you need to know, right? So, we try. Kareva, welcome to the Sparsheet. Thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel. TTV, again, guys, look, all right, this, this, we need, we need to talk. All right, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there. All right, guys, I want you guys to know stream sniping, whether you're trying to do it purposefully or not is dumb. All right. You, you guys need to stop doing it. I, I've said this many a times. If you're stream sniping, whether you're trying to like throw the game for your team or not, like TTV just said that he, he got into the game and then, uh, like he, he was the, he was the gearing obviously. Cause you know, obviously, uh, we take all of his health the first time he comes in to try to torp us. And then we get the blind fire to kill him. He says he moved into the shot. If that's the case, then I mean, come on guys. Like th this is just stupid. All right. Stop, stop doing it. Like if you're th trying to throw the games for your teams, if you're if you're gun if you're going in and going AFK, whether you're on my team or against me, like this is just stupid. Look, he's AFK. Never played. Never played. And these are all people that we see on a regular basis in my streams. It's not like it's a one-off thing. Uh, but I know at legendary tier, there's really only so many games going on. So there's a high chance that you get into my game. If you get into my game, just play fucking normal. That's all I ask. I don't ask for special treatment. I don't ask you guys to go broadside. I don't ask you guys to, to like, you know, do any. I, I just ask that if you do get in my games, if you're purposely trying to get in my games, seek help. Okay. You, you need some, some help, but if you do get in my games, just play normal. But in fairness, we also had a Yamato that didn't, that, that was AFK there too. So two Yamatos enter both of them AFK. So that balances itself out somewhat. But still, like, you guys gotta, you, you gotta stop. Like, if you get into my games, whatever, just play the game normal. Don't, don't try to go like special treatment or anything like that. Like, seriously. And I'm sorry that I have to keep bringing this up every single stream, but it's literally every single stream we had the same stuff happen. So we're going to keep going with the Ohio in hopes that, uh, Hopes that we can we can make something happen, but that we're off to a good start. I'm still counting that game. Sure, it'll have an asterisk next to it because at least 96k was a Yamato that was AFK. But what can you do? Can I ban a mofo? Who's the mofo? Who who's the mofo that we're trying to ban here? You weren't, you weren't trying to throw, you were just trying to cap? Well, that's fine. But if you were trying to throw the game by moving into my shot, for whatever reason, like, come on, man. I don't need to say it. If you get into my game, play normal. Don't go out of your way to target me. Don't try to, like, throw the game. 
Don't go fucking broadside. Don't go AFK. Just play the game normal. Why is that such a hard concept for people? Like, I really don't care that people get in my games. It's gonna happen. Legends isn't that big of an audience, right? Like, there's only so many games going on at one time. And if we're playing Legendary Tier, there's even less games going on, right? So the likelihood that we end up in games with people we know is pretty high. So that I don't care about. Just play the game normal. What's so hard about that? Why do people have to go like crazy? Like, just play normal. I don't understand why that's such a foreign concept to people. Anyway. Bretta coming in re-upping for 24 months. What up, my dude? Appreciate you as always. Hope you're doing well today. Santiago, Mug, Mini X, Water Draw, God Level. How's it going? Thunder One, Cindy the Flying Dog. It's a very interesting and specific name. Hmm. Go ahead and use Arthas. I gotta stop hitting the button for Arthas too early. I feel like I'm missing out on an extra shot every time I do that. I mean, we'll still get a shot off, but I don't think the shot will get to the target in time. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Yeah, that guy's turning out. Taking a lot of damage here, unfortunately. Aim high. Uh, Arthas goes down, unfortunately, right as we get our shot off. Good hits, though. But yeah. Anyway. Back to the task at hand. Do as much damage as humanly possible. Our Des Moines would be much better off being behind that island, but fortunately for him, everybody's got better things to shoot at, a.k.a. me. Alright, Montana's being a little, little goofy here. He's turning towards me, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I don't know if I let him enough. It looks decent. Okay, landed a little high. Landed a little high. We're going to go ahead and start turning back to the left here, get the guns rotating. That's the other thing that I don't know if a whole lot of people have talked about with this ship. The rotation speed on these guns is kind of cracked. Like, it really is. All right, let's go ahead and uh, send a round down range for the Alaska here. We've got the cap control, so... We don't have to go too crazy. I'm sure Alaska's going to shoot me. Because I am giving up a beautiful broadside for him. I'm hoping I disappear here. Okay, there's the shot. Take a shot at the Alaska. Okay, his shells fall short. Superstructure, maybe? Question mark? I don't like being this far away with the Hyle, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. They got a destroyer here as well. Ah, nice, nice job, Musashi. A Musashi coming in shooting at a destroyer. You'll love to see it. All right. We're going to start moving back towards the enemy here. This is where that range comes in handy. Montana doesn't outrange us now. There's the torps from the gearing that we got. Easy enough. Alright, so by getting back into a central position, we'll put ourselves in a better position later in the game. I kind of want to see this guy turn. You know he's going to, right? Does he turn out or turn in? Come on. Take a shot. 
We get a free shot because he's behind the island. Oh, he slows down. What a turd. What an absolute turd. Des Moines can absolutely wreck an, an Alaska, especially up close. But we're going to give them a little bit of help here, shooting in superstructure. Remember, they did just buff the uh, Alaska recently by taking a lot of uh, a lot of its superstructure uh, hit points away. So we can't slap them quite as hard. I don't think the Alaska needed more survivability, but that was one of the things that it got for some reason. Takes a shot at our Des Moines. This guy probably thought he was safe from an Ohio at this range. He's wrong. Secondary should start chipping away at the Alaska. And he's able to turn away. These aren't the fastest shells in the world. Battleship got around the outside of the Alaska. That'll be the end of the Alaska. Let's go ahead and turn. See if we can draw the Alaska out. See if he wants one more shot before he dies. We leave him alive. Another another top tier legendary match, guys. Game's over in what seven minutes? Ah, it wasn't just there's just no damage in that sense. Like they didn't even try to like stop us from having points. I, they we had the caps for the entirety of the match. Who else we got? Puddin's in the chat. How's it going? Snow, I see you. Is there any way I can get 4,200 more of the ice, whatever, without spending any more money? I'm not sure how much you've done. Uh, the only free ice crowns that you can get is uh, by grinding the campaign and uh, doing the advent calendar, uh, as far as I know. Um, and then if you get the Admiralty backing, you get some more. So that's 2,500. Uh, so I think the maximum free that you can get is like 9,500 ice crowns. Christopher Hill coming in, another OG on the channel for 38 months. Thank you so much. What up, Vakten? Quiz Wolf, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Esquilito, I think. Es I hope that's how you say your name. Esquilito. Appreciate you dropping in. Man, we are getting all the smaller, smaller maps. Well, this might come up with some larger, larger shots later. It's like as soon as we put on, as soon as we put on the range, we have had nothing but small maps today. Is that not how it goes? It's like building for AA and never seeing a carrier, or building for, uh, building for concealment and then being put on nothing but small maps. Well, our cruiser is definitely not going to spot anything. He's in uh, Brisbane. So uh, despite that thing having incredible detection, he has no get-out-of-jail-free card. So he is going to hang back. So we're going to have to probably spot with our face here, which is not ideal. Especially there is a destroyer somewhere. I would expect him to spawn in mid, but with my luck, he'll probably spawn directly across from me. The main thing to learn with the uh, the Ohio is A, penetration angles, which are very good for American battleships anyway, uh, but B, angling. As soon as you learn how to angle the Montana Hall, now he's doubling back. What is this guy doing? Hey, this dude just went, yeah, I'm going to cross in front of you this way. Nope, I'm going back the other way. <laughs> like, what are you doing, my dude? Pick a spot. Find, a, find an island. Do your thing. I will go spot with my face and pray to God that we can make something happen here. We have survivability, so I will try. I will try to make make things for the team. It's good and poorly, but this is definitely a better better ship to do this in than most. 
So we'll see. I don't mind spotting with my face as long as my teammates can take advantage of it. I would like this battleship behind me to turn in and get behind in that gap between those two islands. That way we have a bit of a crossfire. I'm already spotted, so it's either a cruiser or the destroyer. Okay, Alaska. Marlboro. we're shooting AP. Respect. I respect it. The Kevinator. Interesting. He's also broadside, which I don't I don't recommend. Especially to an Ohio. Speaking of broadside. He is turning out, but I have to take that shot. We got good penetration angles and he has a weak cheek. Ah, not enough. Alright, so we have Ruprecht in the middle. We got Alaska here, hiding the corner. We've got a Marlboro out wide and a Yama. He eats a torp. Aim a little higher because it looks like he's starting to turn away. Yeah, he turned away, unfortunate. All right, we want to take these on the belt if we can. He, he looks like he's shooting at the bow, though. Not ideal for us. I don't know what this Alaska's game plan is, but he's being a little bit too aggressive for his own good, I think. Front guns on the Alaska superstructure. Got three overpins. Secondary should start chipping away at the Alaska. Alaska's pin angles are stupid. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Alright, this is the part where I need my teammates to start moving forward here. There's a lot more. This is why spotting with your face is not a good idea in any ship. It's just not. We're going to go for superstructure hit on Alaska again. Only a single shell. Really, game? Really? Yama should let me disappear here. He gets the shot off, though. We're going to angle as best we can. He's probably going for the belt this time, it looks like. Just a couple of hits. Take a shot at the broadside with Mara, bruh. That's always a good opportunity. Got one. Alright, time to move forward here. I know Yama's going to take a shot at me any moment. Rear turret of justice and truth, broadside Marlboro still. Didn't aim far enough. Got one. Dude, that Marlboro is no joke. It may be it may be a glass goddamn cannon, but it's no fucking joke when it comes to uh, dishing out punishment. The fact that he's using AP, I absolutely respect. Alright, Yama's far enough that we don't have to worry about him. We're gonna start turning to kite. Angle away from the threats. That Yama's playing like an absolute turd. Alaska's being a little crazy here. We'll wait. Goodbye, Alaska. Oh! God, why is that thing so tanky? God, they need to raise the Citadel on that piece of shit. I love the Alaska, but that thing needs a fucking Citadel raised. Like, for real, for real. 
I'm worried about these guys across the map taking shots at me, to be honest. We are getting targeted by everybody. Hopefully that lands on the Ohio. Yeah. There's nothing I can do here. I'm going to be targeted by everybody in the lobby and I can't go dark. I don't think I can go dark. Oh, God. There's nothing I can do there. That's why you can't spot with your face in this fucking game. You need destroyers. You need them. But we sit it out him on the way out, so we still put up 130k. But uh, our battleship buddy, I don't know what his whole thing was. I don't know how he died so fast. Like, we were literally taking all the hits, and somehow he ended up dying. Uh, this cruiser wasn't putting out near as much DPM because he was too far back. He could have moved up to one of these islands if he did just stop firing. He could have moved up to one of these islands, been closer, and been able to continue shooting at these guys. But... Again, not a bad game for us. Hopefully our team that's wrapping around from the right side can do some work. But, yeah. You, you need destroyers to be able to spot. Or you need, you need cruisers that have good concealment. In that situation, I know it's not, I know it's not an elegant thing to do. Or, like, it's not, it's not a glamorous thing to do. That's the word I was looking for. It's not glamorous to join in a game and then realize that you need to spot for your team. But that that Brisbane is more than capable of going out there and spotting using his concealment, not firing his guns. I understand. If he fires his guns, he's probably going to get one-shotted. I get that. But, like, he could absolutely use the concealment on that thing. I've seen people have the concealment down to uh, under 10 kilometers, so I know it's possible. Uh, most, most people are probably running concealment on that thing. Uh, so use your concealment. Just get out there, spot for your team. But because I didn't have a choice, there was not really an option on our side. I had to move forward and spot, and we literally ran into uh, what was it? the Marlboro shooting AP, which is surprising, but uh, definitely definitely worked out for his team. AP on the Marlboro is fantastic, and you're throwing what 16 rounds down range, so you can't really argue with that. But uh, definitely. Definitely not ideal to spot with your face. That that Yama was actually hilariously bad. So we should have been able to win our side, but we just got unfortunate. Uh, the, the battleship that was with us, I don't think really did much in terms of damage. So I don't know. I'm assuming it was the Heezen, since he's the only one dead. So yeah, that probably explains it. He's a not particularly good ship. So is what it is. Neezer or Nizer, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you dropping it. David C. Good luck going to work, my dude. I apologize if I missed your comment. I didn't get to talk to you before you left for work. But welcome. Roy GM, how's it going? You you cannot get the Ohio for free, unfortunately, guys. Uh, the Ohio is only available through buying or through the ice crowns, and you cannot earn enough ice crowns for free to get the Ohio for free. You can get the majority of the cost for free, but it's still going to cost you at the end of the day if you do everything that you're supposed to to get all the free stuff. You're still going to end up spending around 15,000 doubloons, I believe, for this thing, which is better than like it costs for a normal premium ship. Let's get that out of there. And you're getting a very good legendary tier ship. So, personally, I think it's worth it. It's one of the few ships that I would definitely recommend getting. Uh, as this Ohio is about to demonstrate on the broad side. Uh, okay. Just get away with it. Shoot superstructure, beautiful. Love to see it. But yeah, unfortunately, we just never got a real, real opportunity in this match to showcase the potential damage dealing capabilities. But you guys have seen that. Okay, Alaska's going right up in there. Alaska, fully capable of citadeling at this angle through the cheek, right in front of the turret. Didn't get the Citadel. Unfortunate. Alaska's probably just gonna ram here and survive long enough. Gets the ram and the Kraken. Well done to the Alaska. I don't hate the ram in that situation. Get rid of the uh, good ship there. If the Ohio could have gotten a heal off, it could have been a big, big difference. 
Um, the Marlboro played really well. The, the Yama, I think, played like a little bitch, but worked out for him in the end. Our team hopefully will win this, though. Yeah, there's a Citadel on Yama. I think this Yama player has played really, really badly, to be honest. So, I mean, two of our guys are in the cap. Our, our cruiser player is still so far out of play, he can't shoot anything. I don't, well, he, he could potentially shoot that. Kerr first gets rid of the Marlboro. That's huge. That's the better of the two. We know that. The Alaska's still alive, but he's low health. We already know that. Speaking of, I mean, we got robbed on killing that Alaska, which is unfortunate, but he should go down here easy. Come on, boys. You know, Alaska should be dead here. Nope, Alaska's still... I'm telling you, dude. The Alaska should not be this fucking tough. They, they've got to they've gotta nerf the survivability. They, I don't know why they buffed the survivability of a ship that was already incredibly tanky. Like, the Alaska is so fucking good. There was no reason to buff that ship. None. It's accurate as fuck. It's got ridiculous pin angles. It's got ridiculous survivability with a citadel that's damn near impossible to hit inside any sort of, like, close to medium range. It's got a 32 millimeter bow. Like, that thing is so survivable, and they're like, yeah, we need to buff it. <laughs> Sometimes it makes you wonder. Sometimes it makes you wonder, man. But we got third on our team. Uh, well done to the Alaska coming in, getting his crack, and well done to the gross car first there at the end as well. Uh, Brisbane towards the bottom. He's in at the bottom. So the two people that we got on our side didn't really contribute a whole lot to the battle, unfortunately. Which is a shame, because the Brisbane seems to be very, very good. Uh, it just doesn't have the smoke smoke screen that the Mino gets. Thoughts on Georgia? I mean, Georgia is okay since they added the epic uh, epic mods. I didn't like it before the epic mods, but the epic mods really do bring out some consistency of the ship. TTV, like I said, I understand that people get in my games. Like, it's going to happen. It's not a very big player base, and we're playing Legendary tier exclusively today, so it's going to happen. All I ask is that people play the game normal, right? If you And when you come into chat and say, I moved into your shells, like, come on. Really? Like, that could have thrown the game for your team. Good luck. Like, it could have. So, again... All I ask is that if you do get in my games, you play, you play normal. That's all I ask. Like, just don't go out of your way to target me. Don't, don't try to like, go AFK. Don't, don't like, just, just play normal. That's all I ask. If you get into the game, no big deal. Play normal. Super simple. Also, another Ohio. I'm telling you, this ship is gonna get nerfed. I'm sorry. I, I, I do want, I want to make sure that everybody knows that, like, I know that they don't like to nerf premium ships, but I'm telling you, this ship is going to overperform, this ship is going to probably get nerfed, and it would not surprise me to see it sooner rather than later, I know a lot of people are saying maybe six months, I don't know about that, then again, I mean, it, it's not, it's not impossible, uh, Linen, Linen is a very good ship as well, same sort of situation, Linen is very nasty at its tier, it didn't get nerfed. So maybe Ohio slips through the cracks and doesn't get nerfed because they don't want the backlash of a whole bunch of people who paid a bunch of money for a ship to, to complain. But we've seen that they are willing to do it. Ark Royal, Weimar, like these are all things that they always say that they reserve the right to, uh, to adjust any ship in the game to keep the balance of the game. All right, premium ships are no no uh, different. Wargaming is a much is a ship or is a company large enough to handle those sorts of. Uh... Oh look, it's divided jester. I know that guy too. Will he play the game normal? That's all we ask. Just play the game normal. Honestly, that looks pretty accurate. So we're gonna hit the uh, Arthas button. Ah, he came up short. I think he stopped. 
We're located, so we know the destroyer's here. Like, we're the closest thing to the destroyer. So it's not surprising to me that the destroyer's going to be right here. Because they haven't gotten in a cap. So I'm assuming they went wide. He's not in a division with anybody. But it is a Shima. We're radared. Interesting. So there's a cruiser here potentially. All forces capture that area. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here and deal with Ashima plus <clears throat> all of the riffraff that's sitting behind every island in the game shooting at me. This is why we build for range, because you get in a situation like this, you're going to need that extra range got to get away from the fucking cruisers that are sitting on the other side of the goddamn map spamming. I've already lost a third of my health because of this. Like, they're not going to shoot at the other Ohio. They're only going to shoot me, right? Like, I'm so far the only thing anybody has shot in this game on this side of the map. The other Ohio is right there. Do not give him this fire game. I love that I'm still getting shot. I haven't been spotted in a while. I'm still getting shot. Somehow. And I don't think it's all shell flight time, to be honest. And use our next Arthas here. And the fucking Montana decides to go forward. Fuck this side. This side's with Jesus. That guy's gonna have to hold it on his own. We got the Shima over here. We got a Stalingrad. We got a Montana. We got a Fire Spammer. Like, I don't know which Fire Spammer. I'm assuming Des Moines. So it's just, there's nothing I can do about this situation. Just do our best. Try to help our teammate out. Now he's gonna go forward again. This Montana's being a little throttle jockey and bitch. He really is. He's got propulsion mod on 100%. Look how far away I am from anything, and I'm still being targeted by that fucking Des Moines. Lord have mercy. Go ahead and put out that fire. We should be able to go dark. This guy shouldn't have pushed up around that corner when he knew I was retreating from it. Like, I'm sorry, dude. You, you shouldn't have pushed around that corner. Like, he knew what was there. I, I, I pointed it out, right? So. Pretty obvious. Another Montana center of the map. Alaska Rams Alaska. We're about to get a beautiful opportunity here. One down. We're not leaving this guy. We're just trying to get these guys to come around and, and not be focused by everybody. If these guys come to us, then we can make something happen here. I don't know that I'm going through here, but I'm going to try. Aiming a little higher to try to get over the belt. Okay, a little bit better. Stalingrad goes down. He lands every shot into my superstructure. Probably hit the, the heel a little early there. But Des Moines has other things to worry about now, so... At this point... We should have enough angle here to Citadel this Montana and send him, him packing, hopefully. There we go. 
I got you, brother. <laughs> Look at that accuracy, though. Oh my god. We just put five rounds on a fucking Shimakaze at 12 kilometers. <laughs> Tell me about accuracy. Tell me about accuracy. This guy's not gonna go around. He's gotta go around the island. I'll take a shot at that. You miss all the shots you don't take, boys. Goodbye, Des Moines. Apparently, Azure Lane, New Jersey doesn't have a, uh, a response to the fact that we uh, are saying well played. <laughs> Sorry, Wargaming, but if you're going to do a collab, at least give give like your your characters like voice lines for all of the in-game options that I can trigger. Good lord. Hash spicy me the ball. Anyway, what up Eli? How's it going? Michael J, good to see you. Snow, I think I called you out, but I'll say it again. Heisman, good to see you. Stickmaster. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. Don't forget to punch that like button. I feel like the likes are lagging behind right now. We've already had some bangers. We've had some uh, some okay games, but we had some bangers as well. So make sure we uh, punch that like button, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I do try to shout out as many people as possible. I may not always get a chance to. Beautiful! Well done, team. Well done to that other Ohio. And that showcases the survivability of the Ohio, too. We had a Stalingrad, we had a Montana, we had a Des Moines all focusing us for the first couple of minutes. We had to we had to disengage, take and be a little bit more uh, selective with our engagements. The other Ohio moved in to fill our gap. He was a little closer to the island, so the, Mon or so the Ohio wasn't quite, or the Des Moines wasn't able to focus him because the Des Moines had moved into the cap. So he was able to, to tank pretty well in that situation. And then we come back and get those crossfires. So again, if you are going to disengage, don't just abandon your flank. Keep, your, keep, keep the crossfires, keep your, uh, your, keep your ship relevant is the, is the big one. Like if you have to disengage, disengage by all means. Like you're going to have those situations, but keep yourself relevant. As you can see, the other Ohio didn't do much. It wasn't a, uh, a great game for him, other than the fact he just took damage. Sometimes, that's what you got to do in a battleship. We saw it in my Ohio game where I had to spot with my face. Don't end up with a lot of damage that way, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Alex, welcome to the stream. Overall, it was a good, good team game, so we can't really argue there. Iowa is average. You're on crack. Iowa's fantastic. Still is, after all these years. Iowa's still fantastic. Missouri better than standard Iowa. Because Missouri is old Iowa. And I and by old Iowa, I mean Missouri has the uh has the Iowa AP pin or not pin, but AP damage that the old Iowa had. But uh, Iowa's still fantastic. If you say Iowa is average, you're crazy. That ship is so tanky when used properly. And the guns are so good. Alright, so we got a Shima and a Gearing. So, I'm glad to see that we're getting some matches where it ain't all destroyers at Legendary Tier. So, at least that's going on. Haman, how's it going? I have a feeling that I'll see him soon in a game. Aaron, how's it going? Emders, good to see you. Is King George V any good? 
for what it is, yes. It's got good AP if you get a chance to use it, but you really shouldn't be shooting it unless given broadsides or at cruisers. Uh, it's got ridiculous HE and a good fire rate and can be tanky if utilized properly. Like, that ship doesn't give up citadels easily. So, if you, if you learn to angle it, it can be very good. It's got good DPM as well. Somebody's already shooting at me. Shadow Killer, maybe? No, Shadow Gamer is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, look. It's in Alaska. I think the range... The range is going to pay off for us. We've already seen multiple situations where if we didn't have the range, we wouldn't have been able to engage since putting the Megatron inspiration on. Okay, so their DD's in the middle, our DD's in the middle. Those two should counter each other. In theory. I'm going to expect Gearing potentially to spot him here if he comes around the corner. No, never mind. Gearing's turning and running. All of the right side is turning and running behind the island, which is an interesting play. Look at our range, though. Like, even from here, we're on the cusp of being able to shoot all the caps. Alright, that Shima should be a dead Shima. We're going to take a shot at him to see if we can help. Not able to, unfortunate. Unfortunately. We don't know what else spawned here, but our gearing should murder that Shima. Alright, here we go. Here's our first chance to really put ourselves on the map. And he goes dark. God darn it! Of course he goes dark. He just pulled out broadside in front of me. Why wouldn't he end up going dark immediately? I looked at him. And now he's full bow into me. He's broadside to everybody on that side of the map, but he's bowing to me. Okay, we got Musashi over there. I'll take a shot at him, get some plunging fire through the deck, help that side out a little bit, get rid of that cruiser. Mine! Nope, not enough. The fact that the Shima's still alive and I'm now spotted is a little sketch. I don't know why this gearing has played around as much as he has with this, sh this Shima. He should have just murdered him when he had the chance. There is no reality where a Shima should ever give a Gearing a fit. Gearing will murder a Shima's face hole completely. Good hit. All my ships are bowing to an island, for God's sakes. So now I'm going to have to deal with all of these guys. Okay, Shima's on the other side, so we don't have to worry about him. He's gonna go down, hopefully this time. Alright, we're gonna try to close to the island here. There's the belt armor, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Use that belt. Trick those dumb... Trick those dumb Yama players into shooting your belt. Alaska shooting AP or HE. Let me get rid of this little turd. I don't think I go through the, the turret or uh, through the cheek at this angle, so. Once I get the front guns back, we'll try it. All those fall short! You gotta be shitting me. Alright, rear turret. 
Every one of those shells just fell short. Secondary's doing their job. We've got Arthas coming up. We can go ahead and hit a heal. It's where those extra or those. Oh my God! He just got Get fucked. I'm a better fire spammer than you are, and I've just got secondaries. All right. Hopefully, those guys can deal with that Montana. I'll go deal with this Musashi. Get this base cap. We haven't done any damage in this one. Everybody's been running and hiding the entire match, which is why their team is losing handily. Turns out if your entire team is intent on running and hiding behind islands, you're probably not going to be effective. I know it's a news flesh. Can't really do anything about the Montana yet. Would like to get this base cap before I get spotted by the Musashi, though. Go ahead, Montana. Please. Make my god darn day. No! The game's over! Oh, I hate Legendary Tier so much, dude. Why are the games so bad at Legendary Tier? Oh, so annoying. That hurts my average damage in the ship. Like, there's just no damage when you get a game like that. Like, the entire enemy team doesn't do anything. They just die and hide. It's like, what are you going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> what up, Donut? Uh, Puddin', I think you're crazy. USBBs are some of the most accurate battleships in the game, bar none. It's not even, it's not even close. Not even close. You want a shotgun? Go, go play the French battleships. You want, you want inconsistency? Play the Japanese. The Germans are average. The Italians are borderline below average. We need the extra HP on this left side of the map, but at the same time, I don't want to be on this left side of the map if they got two DDs. So I may do something silly here. Looks like the battleship behind me is going to go left, so that's fine. I might take a central location. See if we can get some crossfires. The guys on the right side of the map are running away from their spawn. This cruiser is charging straight ahead, gonna run right into my broadside. Gonna fuck me over here. It's gonna stop me from turning. Well, at least he, he's throwed it in reverse. But look at, the, look at these guys run away from the right side. That's what you don't wanna do. So now I've gotta go fill in that, that void, right? Our DD's in the middle, so we should have a chance to get something spotted soon. I'm spotted, so their DD's in the middle. I'm guessing coming from the uh, cap over to the left. Conqueror fired AP. It's one pin. Destroyer down, but we're still spotted, so their other destroyer is still here. Like I said, this destroyer came from the uh, Charlie Cap. So our destroyer should be able to capture the Charlie Cap easily. Get a shot over the island. You miss all the shots you don't take. He's turning away, though. I need intelligence data. What is what is going on with my team? Can we, can we just talk about this? Like these guys ran away from their side. I have to come over fill the void. This guy run into me and now doubled all the way back. Like I don't know what's actually happening on screen. Stations requesting fire support. 
Like, I, I legitimately do not know what's going on on screen right now. LT's in here. I've got no shot on these guys, but they're all setting up for a uh, potential crossfire on me if I'm not careful. We know the Napoli's there. I gotta get me a new headset. That's what I'm gonna get myself for Christmas. I'm getting me a new headset for Christmas. Like, this headset's old. I need a new one. Oh, come on. You can't give that to him as a spot. I was still behind the island. And, of course, we miss every one of the shells. On a stationary target. We can snipe a destroyer at 12 kilometers that's moving. But we can't fucking hit a goddamn stationary cruiser. The size of a goddamn battleship. Also, big surprise. All these guys have relocated to take shots at me. We knew that was coming, though. Three shells. Knocked a gun, though. We know their destroyers... Uh, it's actually in Alaska. Okay. Shot at that guy. Our team has the left side under wraps. Like, they should be able to do whatever they want over there. Maybe we'll go ahead and use our first heal. The Grossa, Frederick de Grossa, just stops an open water broadside to everybody. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is hard to predict a stupid play. Like, I don't, I don't know why people play the way they do sometimes. I will always end up playing... Uh, now I'm getting shot at by the conqueror. I've got to turn in here. Just hope that uh, LT doesn't shoot me. I'm still spotted. Like, I'm still spotted by the fucking Palmer. Double fired. Oh, of course it is. Couldn't get. I couldn't go dark, could I? It's not allowed. And then he's. Just, God dang, dude. All right, lock it in, Spartan. We're gonna be spotted. Pomeran's gonna get us spotted, so be ready. LT just got lapped. We've got a good angle on this Pomeran that we should be able to nuke him. The Conk isn't going to be able to keep lobbing that island forever as we get closer. We're getting shells that are not going where I'm aiming them, which is really annoying. Because I'm aiming high, trying to hit the superstructure of the fucking Palmer, and I know where I need to hit. I'm not an idiot. And they are all falling short and allowing him to just sit there broadside. Looks like he's going to try to change course. We're going to aim high again and hope that we can hit upper side plating to the, to the superstructure here. There, we got two full pins. I'm not afraid of a conqueror at all. It's just I gotta get to a point where I can actually shoot him back. All right, we're aiming this one for the big hit. And look at that dispersion. What is protecting this fucking Palmer? What is protecting this Palmer? We haven't had this bad a dispersion out of this thing ever. This Palmer is just immune to being hit. Alright, let's go punish this fucking Conqueror. He thinks he's being smart. Ocho Senko. Oh, no, sunshine. If that's if that's who you look up to, you got big bigger problems. I definitely ain't afraid of you. Hello, sunshine. How's that superstructure feel? Look at that accuracy. We, we can't get that on a fucking broadside of a god darn Palmer. 
We can shoot the superstructure of the Conqueror like it's nothing. Like, what What was protecting that Palmer? Secondary is immediately setting a fire. Aww. Does it, does it hurt, you little turd? Does it hurt? I'm a little worried about what is that still the Palmer? It's got to be right. What's wrong? Oh, look, he, he loaded AP. Where is this guy? Get him, secondaries. La -di -da. And looks good. Ah, they fell. They dropped just short enough to hit his belt. Only landed two shells in his superstructure. Napoli's running away from us, dude. How many times are we gonna run into everybody just running away from us? They are just flat out terrified of me. And I can't blame them. I mean, we have pretty much just embarrassed everybody who's tried to go one on one with us today. We've proven that Schlieffen can't handle it. We've proven that the destroyers can't handle it. Sixteen eighty one. So that would have been uh, one thousand. It had been a sixteen thousand eight hundred damage, eight hundred and ten damage citadel, with just the plane inside ten kilometers. I know you can't citadel destroyers. I'm just saying, like, we can we can use the overpin damage to tell us. Uh, what our maximum citadel would be because overpins are 10 percent of your uh, maximum damage well uh, we could have had a better game but still put up 127 and embarrassed the conqueror for even thinking about using he against me not that ap would have done him any better he just doesn't have the armor he may have the hit points, but he does not have the armor to handle a fight versus a uh, Ohio, especially up close where he's going to take multiple pins. This thing is nasty, man. Plus, we're making... Actually, I lied. We actually are losing silver. 100, 137,000... Or 127,000 damage, and we're losing silver with premium time. Oof. Wargaming, you gotta fix that. You gotta fix legendary tier, man. What up, Carl? Good to see you. Average historian, welcome to the stream. Joker Gammer, how's it going? Maximum damage with a shell, that's no. Yes, technically, you, that would be your maximum damage, but that has nothing to do with the shell. If you're going to detonate somebody, it doesn't matter what your damage is. You're just going to detonate them. That's a, that's a roll of the dice, and pretty unlikely. It's one of the rarest metals you can get in the game is getting detonated. It's usually destroyers that get detonated. Can't happen to other ships, but it's very, very rare in World Warships Legends. A little more... A little more... Uh, Cons not consistent what's the word i don't know it happens more often on pc than it does on legends for a couple of reasons one on pc they have better accuracy but they also have a higher detonation chance i believe on pc than we have on legends all stations save that out 
Oh! Also, if you guys want, would you guys be interested in me streaming uh, the ranked battles solo? Like, is that something you guys would be interested in? Um, All forces provide cover for please let me know. What up, Illuminati? How's it going? Jose, appreciate you dropping in. Illuminati, thank you for re-upping for eight months, man. Cheese man, good to see you. Get some goats in the chat for everybody who's re-upped their memberships and donated today. You guys have been crazy. Appreciate you. Marcos, appreciate you dropping in. Keith? Oh, we're spotted. I better pay attention to the game. Or I'm gonna get yeeted. Concentrate fire on that designated. That Yama probably thinks I didn't have range to shoot him, so we're gonna prove him wrong. He asked the bow tank that. Ah, I thought it known I was gonna That was twenty thousand damage with a single citadel, guys. And that was not even Arthas. If we had Arthas that, that would have probably been twenty five K. One shell. This is a problem. I don't have spotting. They do. Like, I've got the entire map shooting at me right now. Like, I've got my side shooting at me. I've got their side shooting at me. They have a destroyer that's spotting, and I don't. Oh, look, it's Fat Weed. I know he's in shit. Yeah, Shima right there. Kleber should murder Shima. But Kleber is pulled out in front of the whole team to do it. And we apparently hit the guns on the, uh... The Yama. Alright, let's keep an angle. That looks good. Much better. Alright, hopefully we're far enough out. That guy's in a smoke. We should be able to get our turn off completely unspotted here. Start turning back towards the, the problem. I'll take a shot at the Jaeger. He's going to go forward. He's got to get out of the way of that. He, he's got to respect it. But that forces him back behind the island. Schlieffen's getting DPM. That was actually a really good shot by that Yama. Alright, before these shells get to the target, we should have our plane back. And these look accurate as fuck. So we're going to Arthas this for sure. And Arthas. Beautiful. The fact that our Clobert has lost all of his hit points and that Shima is still alive is kind of worrying. Shima appears to be beaching them. I would expect him to throw it in reverse. Oh, he's not going to live long enough for those shells to get there. All right, well, good. Shima dead. Hold on. He died, but he traded. I don't know why I keep hitting well played. I guess I'm hoping that the people on the other side have. Uh... Oh, what's that? Yeah, as soon as I pull the trigger, a little turd blossom gets spotted. Just broadside to God and everybody. Uh, Des Moines, come over to help. Why am I still spotted? How the fuck am I still spotted? Thank you. Why was I spotted for so fucking long there? Skika? 
Start moving back towards the center here. This map sucks, dude. There ain't a good fucking place on this map. This whole map is garbage. It's one of those fucking maps, like, almost as bad as Atlantic. Atlantic is worse, but this map is right there in the running for just, like, worst maps in the game. Isn't it interesting how people can foul tank me without ever seeing me? I'm worried that he's gonna, like, come forward. He's gonna be able to spot me. Yeah, there it is. Or maybe get angled. And then use the Arthas. Beautiful. Mm, he got one. That's what I was worried about, little bastard. Don't worry, I've got another one where that comes from. Hope you had a good game, sunshine. That one is all you get. Unless, of course, the game just, like, puts all my shells where they have to to avoid hitting them. And of course, the fucking Des Moines goes the other way. I try to close the distance, and now Des Moines over there behind that fucking island shooting at me. Or somebody is. Pop Des Moines. Alright. Get done. Go away. Shoo fly, you're bothering me. God dang it! Why do they protect these people? I, I know what I gotta hit! Fuck off! Support our He's going forward. Now he's gonna go in reverse. Fuck off. God dang, man. Let the little bastard die. Jesus, quit protecting people. Hi, Ohio. I am about to lose my god darn mind. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am actually about to lose my fucking mind. If I get one more goddamn shell that goes everywhere but the fucking place I aim it, I'm gonna lose it. Belt. Yeah, he gets a couple. Superstructure, Arthas. Ager. Yoshino, that's who was spamming HE from distance. Ramming is not off the table here. As a matter of fact, it might be my only option. Oh, Ager, you little turd. I know what you're doing. You're gonna protect this little bastard. I know what you're fucking doing, you little bastard. Oh my god, where's there a fucking Yama? Oh, he's just casually on the left side of the fucking map. Because those guys all just, like, did nothing, right? Like, look. Full health fucking cruiser, Worcester. God dang it. Ah! Dude, we got some shitty fucking RNG in that. Like, it took us four salvos to finish off a Yama that had less than 10k health. Like, that's stupid. That is actually stupid. I didn't even see that fucking Yama. He blends in with a goddamn A in the middle of the fucking cap. They need to, like, change the fucking collar of a cap so that, like... It doesn't blend in like that. That dude was blending in real well with the fucking cap. I didn't even see it. That is so unfortunate. Especially considering I would have been able to blap the fuck out of that Aegir. I probably was gonna die there, but... I would have been able to blap him. Hundred and fifty-six thousand, you'll take it. Yeah. You shouldn't have got that much. And then like I said, it shouldn't have taken me four fucking salvos to, to do 10k damage to you at the end there. The shells literally just avoiding hitting your superstructure. Going everywhere but where I aim them. It's like, oh yes, he's right here. I know where you're aiming, but I'm gonna hit over here. I'm gonna hit over here. It's like, no, hit the goddamn superstructure and finish the little turd off. Look at this, this guy's full health. He ain't done. Like, he, he's been hiding behind the same island the entire game. I'm sure he's done some damage, but probably not as much as he could have done. Come on, 
Montana was full health too. I mean, if we end up losing this game, it's gonna look real stupid for our team. But this goes goes and shows you, you can't fucking leave a flank open, guys. You can't. Stop running away from your fucking side. Hold your side. If they hold their side, that Yama's not in that fucking cap right now. You know what I mean? Like, he's not capturing it. There's fucking islands right here. You got islands right here. You can fucking use this island all game long to fuck up whatever's in front of you. They ended up killing two ships, it looks like, right here. So they were there for a little bit. Probably the Worcester, if I had to guess. Uh, Worcester doesn't even have a kill, so maybe he hasn't been at that effective either. But, like, you gotta, you gotta try to win your side. None of our ships died on that side of the map. One person died all the way out here, which is the center of the map. But none of our guys held this flank and, and stayed put. So, I don't know. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that also goes back to the the destroyer trading there. I don't know how our destroyer trades with a fucking Shima. Like he's got a he's got a main battery reload booster that can nuke a Shima in seconds. Our Tulsa now comes out from behind the island to get himself fucking heated. Is he gonna fire AP? Like he's got guns, right? Like does this guy not use his guns? Oh, he's going to shoot at the bow end guy instead of using his guns on the guys that are broadside. That, that makes sense. Yeah, that is perfect. Perfect example of people who just spend the entire game hiding behind an island just to show up at the last second and die. It's like, I gotta make something happen. Let me just run it in here and die. I don't use any strategy for this part. You spend the entire game hiding behind an island. The first time you get in an engagement, you throw your ship away. Hey, good God, dude. Good God. He would rather rotate his guns all the way around to shoot at the guy that's bow into him than have his guns shoot the guy that's right next to him. That both these guys were broadside. Worcester versus Yama. Who's this back here? Brisbane? There's a lot of DPM still on the table. These guys should be able to win this, but I doubt it. Especially considering there's still an Ohio somewhere hiding. Yoshino. Oh, there's the Ohio. Ohio has no health. Down he goes. Or no, wait, that was the Yama. Ohio's the one that's closest. Unfortunately, down goes our Worcester, so now it's just up to a Brisbane who has health, but it doesn't matter. Just because it looks like he has health, he can be taken out any time. And the Yoshino should overmatch him, I believe. I'm assuming it's just like the Mino. Ohio, right up the tailpipe. Oh, he gets very lucky. I mean, the good news here is that he has DPM and he has HE compared to the Mino who only gets AP. Illuminati, thank you for re-upping for eight months. And Manny Del Toro, thank you for the $2. Is Ohio worth buying? Absolutely. <laughs> I personally think so. It's one of the few ships that I would recommend you buy, but we're going to lose this match, unfortunately. Again... I, the Clavera getting rid of the Shima is great, but you got to survive that engagement. You got so many more hit points, and you have a main gun reload booster. There's no reason for you to trade with a Shima. So you should kill him and still be alive to help the team. Brisbane's not even going to fire his guns at this guy. There's 20 seconds left. Like, yeah, this is why we lose perfect example of why we lose. This guy runs all the way across the map. Had 20 seconds left. Fires his gun twice. Oh! Let's see who the bottom of the leaderboard was this time. I don't think it was me. I actually wasn't far off the bottom of the leaderboard. 
But again, spotting with your face isn't the isn't ideal. But we still we still did better than a Yamato who ended up with a solid 900 whole whole XP. Oof. Worcester did get two kills in the end. One was an Ohio that had no health. Or a Yama that had no health. Kleber. Kleber runs out, kills the destroyer, dies himself, gets fourth on the team. How does that how does that make like that just goes to show how much a destroyer kill is worth? Because it's, it's a trade at the beginning of the match. Shouldn't mean shit. He ends up th fourth on the team overall in XP. All right, here we go again. Out of 10, what do I rate the Ohio? I'd say 10. Honestly. Great. Harsh is on my team. He's in a division with Pixel and Pixel. I don't know Pixel Neon. I do know Pixel Impulse. So at least we know we got a couple of good players on our team. We will try to do our best here. Going around the outside in this ship, probably not the best play, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. They spawn all of our destroyers in the same locations. That is so stupid. They spawn two of our destroyers in the same location. Like, that is so dumb. There are three destroyers. None of them are in a division with each other. Why are you spawning more than one destroyer in a location? makes no sense the Shoshino I don't know what his his uh, detection range is so he's probably gonna get death struck here going full broadside at this range it does spot a Yama uh, Yama fires too far back clearly there's a destroyer here shocker Why do I keep hitting Arthas so early? It's not a spotter plane, Spartan. Hold the shot. Hold the hold the plane until the shells are about to arrive. That was a terrible hit, but 9300 will take. What are we up against? Hayate Kleber gearing, so... Are these gearing torps? They seem to be quintuple launchers, so they probably are. So these torps are going to go forever. And judging by that distance, judging by, yeah, look, that guy probably launched, I'm, I guarantee this is the Geary. Uh, that guy launched those torps from 16 kilometers from this position. But he wasn't in the cap, he just straight up threw those out there. We're being targeted by everybody right now. This Yama, I was going to say, this Yama's not going to be able to resist this. He's given up broadside to my teammates just to try to shoot me. Take a couple of hits there. He hit high enough to get away with that. Rear turret of justice and truth on the way, baby. That should be a dead Yama. Dead Yama. Nope. Game says, fuck you, Spartan. Amazing. Top tier gameplay, folks. Good shot at the uh, LT here. Down goes our Yoshino. No shells hit his hits his superstructure. Interesting. All right, let's get turned back in here now that we don't have to worry about getting sniped.
We've lost a Shima and a Yoshino already. They've lost a Yama. I'm spotted. Their gearing is still here. Montana should be shooting at me any moment. Okay, Montana actually shoots at somebody else. And then decides to go full broadside. So we'll take that shot. Wait till they get there. Then hit the button. He ate a couple of Yoshino corpse, but we just slapped the shit out of him as well. And the gearing is right off our bow. Get that cat. Destroyer is focused on me. He went behind the island, so I'm assuming he's going to go around that side. Hopefully we get a... Uh, plane back before we have to deal with the little turd. I do have to worry about LT having a broadside look at me. I know you guys are probably thinking I should load up HE right now, but honestly, I think I'll do more damage with the AP. Okay. Okay, I thought that was I thought that was LT that just died. It isn't. Acknowledged. Oh look, it's it's somebody in chat. Shocker. Gotta try to get angled. Of course, LT is back all the way out to the open. Dude sits on the island the entire time, and then as I close in, he starts backing up. Hopefully, our Yama can get his attention. Hopefully, this isn't too much. There's the plink plink. Uh, it's really annoying when you're going up against people you know are in stream and you're trying to like figure out what your strategy is to try to deal with them because you know they have the advantage. Like they know what you're doing. They're going to hold their fucking torps. They're going to hold their fire. They know exactly where you're located. They know exactly what you're doing. Look. There he goes. He's like, oh, Spartan's coming around the corner. Gotta get out of here. Turds, man. God, these people are so obnoxious to play against, man. It's it's so hard to play against people who are gonna play, they're gonna pick ships that counter you directly, and then they're just gonna go after you. Uh, yeah, he spawned on my side, but he didn't do anything. He captured the base and then came after me. And that was his goal. He's not, he torped me again, so he he should have another set of torps unless he torped behind me and I didn't see it. But he should have another set of torps. Surprised me if he held him because he knows I had to damage con the flood. Look at that fucking accuracy. Why is the what is it with me shooting at people that are in stream that causes my accuracy to just be shit as fuck? Like just straight up. The like worst dispersion you've ever seen. Avoiding his super strike. One more shot before he dies, or no, he gets the rear turret off. Breaks my gun. There's only so much you can do, like, there was nothing for me to shoot. They had a Yama that charged straight into the cap and died by driving into a crossfire to come after me. They had a destroyer that went all the way out to the edge of the map to try to get me. And they had a fucking Yama sit next to an island the entire time to avoid getting shot by me. There's nothing I can do about that. Of 
What up, Earth Godzilla? How's it going? You were actually trying to go for the Yoshino. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, is what it is. Is what it is. At the end of the day, you lose. Just unfortunate. Keep on a trucking. Hopefully, it puts me in a match quick and I can get away from all the people that are jumping in the game. But I doubt it. Still end up with like five of them in the game. Try to you try to get on and get some damage and do things, and you just get the entire lobby full of people watching the street. It makes it real difficult to like be effective. LT's on the enemy team again. Nobody on my team. This is the only person that I recognize. So LT in the uh, Yama again. Terrible map. No sp no destroyers in this lobby. I will say this. Well, one thing that I, I've always, always uh, thought about, because I'll get people be like, Spartan, I'm not trying to get in your game, I swear. I'm like, well, you can, there's one surefire way to avoid getting in my game. You could always wait till I'm in a game and then launch your, your game then. If you're watching the stream. Like, that is, that is a possibility. You could always do. So it is possible to avoid getting in a game with me while I'm streaming. Just as it is possible to get in the game every single time as some people do I'm just listening as I play okay so when whenever I see you in game I just won't talk for the entire time right because I don't want to say things like oh there's a gearing over here behind the island I'm gonna go over here hopefully I have my plane back by the time I get there because you know suddenly that goes through your speakers and you're like oh Spartan's coming to get me I should, I should run away. Do you see how that could be an advantage? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Like I said, if you play the game normal, I don't care. It's just, it is funny to me. To see the same names over and over again. People will say, oh, I'm not trying to get in your game or something like that. But yet they get in every single game that I play. Even if I change tiers. Yeah, he turned away. Figured as much. We have no spotting on this side of the map. Once again, this is the second match in a row. Or no, this is the first one. What am I saying? Sashi's going bow in. Yama is requesting my support from God knows where. I kind of want to... I was going to say, I, I kind of want to wait for this Sashi to fire his gun. And then I'll take a shot because I am going to be turning back. That's all we get. One shell to hit the guy dang superstructure. Hey, look. It's LT. Holds his fire. Just waits for me to fucking get lit up. Of course he does. God dang it, dude. Oh, it's frustrating. It's so fr And now he's in reverse.
All right. Our entire team is here. I'm going to try to find another way around to make something happen here. I don't know why everybody came over here and just clustered up. It's a bad idea. We're gonna double back, see if we can get a crossfire. at the shop before I hit the button. Given 20 memberships to the chat. Appreciate you, my dude. Look at all these people. Look at them all. Fuck is radaring. Oh, there's a cruiser right here, apparently. turned away here so that we're angled. Oh, there's a fucking island here. God dang it. Dodge the island. Honestly, I expected these guys to be ready to shoot me. They grabbed the cap. Okay, it's in Alaska. talking about when it comes down to the entire team going to one goddamn corner of the map. It's just stupid. I love those guys on that side are still trying to shoot me. All the way on the opposite fucking corner of the goddamn map from them are still trying to hurt me. God, I hope I can get this thing turned in enough to be angled for this Alaska or he might kill me. It is not impossible to... to citadel and kill a fucking battleship with the alaska at these ranges and especially when the battleship is turning towards you raising the citadel i don't know what just happened to all my fucking shells i literally just missed eight shells at this range on a fucking alaska come on game now I'm going to get sniped from the other corner of the map because all those guys that ran over there to do something decide they don't need to actually do anything. 
just sitting in a fucking location. Crossfires work both ways there, LT. That was not even a citadel. Palmer, get, how does the Palmer get that kill? I'm sorry. Hello? There ain't no fucking way. I guess he just timed his shot perfectly. Dude, our team was fucking awful, man. One of these days, people will stop just fucking bunching up on one corner of the goddamn map. I don't know when. I don't know when. But one of these days, they're gonna have to do it. They're gonna do. You gotta learn. People never fucking learn, man. They all just run to the same fucking location and then they don't have any crossfires. They wonder why they lose the fucking match. Perfect fucking example of it right there. Perfect example. Everybody just runs all the way over there. Oh, we're going to support this person. Sit in the same fucking square instead of just fighting your side of the map. Getting those crossfires. And you saw the crossfires we had late game. Couldn't take advantage of it because it was literally us versus the entire enemy team. But it was there. Now imagine if we'd spawned there and actually been able to fight our side and then had those crossfires. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Also, get some goats in the chat for Mr. Fox. Andrew Tyndale. Thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel. Welcome. Appreciate it. All right. We got 182 likes right now. Let's run that up. Get at least 200 likes, guys. I believe you. I believe you. You got this. You only need 18 likes. There's at least 18 of y'all in chat that didn't like the chat or like the video. We're about to end the stream, though. I think this might be our last game. So, what up, Fallen Mouse? Good to see you. When was the last time you were in my game? Ah, it's been a while. You used to get into them all the time. Is this, is this, like, I don't know. You used to get into my games all the time. Pixel, harsh, on the enemy team. Boy, it is interesting how many times people end up in my games. <laughs> Leave one game, jump into another, people back in again. Harsh is a good guy, though. I can't argue with Harsh, so... I know at least Harsh won't go out of his way to target me. And for the record, LT's not gone out of his way to just target me, either. It's just unfortunate that you have to fight everybody that has the stream. Think of all the games we could have gotten where, uh... The teams could have, like, been, I don't know, just a bunch of bots... To shoot it. Okay, is the destroyer gonna spot here? We got Z44. Nothing. Oh, look, it's Pixel. Betty turns away, so we're just hold. Should get another spot sometime pretty quick. If that's Pixel, then we know that uh, Harsh is also over there and his other div mate. So if that's the case, they don't have a destroyer at the Charlie Cat. Alright, there's Pixel, actually. They actually spawned them separate from each other? So they may have a destroyer there. Okay. Interesting. You don't see the game separate divisions very often. So, uh, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird they did that. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, plan for a turn here. Hayate is murdering our Smallland. Because he has Harsh over there with the Des Moines.
Just a casual 14k. Matthew Harold, thank you for the five dollars, my dude. Just got the JB. Oh, it's it's as good as they say. It's fantastic. I know may have just fucked up. We'll see. Apparently he got ahead of it. Did we catch him this time? Harsh, struggling to hit me. I mean, you're only like 18 kilometers away. Got one, and that one hurt, I guarantee it. Can I go dark? Not before that little turd gets a shot off. It's pretty accurate too, and he's shooting HE. So fire. Oh, he missed. Now goes our Minnesota. Oh my god, you guys are killing me! Caraver, thank you for the two dollars. Zachary Glenn with a ten or twenty dollar bomb out of nowhere as well. What tier would I recommend to use and try and get back into World of Warships? I'd say tier five. Tier five is probably the best tier in the game, hands down. It's got so many good ships, good money makers. Would you recommend to use to try and get back into WoW? I'm going to say Harsh is not going to sit there and take it. Right. We're going to shoot one at him and one forward, expecting him to move. We actually hit him. <laughs> oh! Let's go! Oh my god, we're fucking getting better at the blind fires, boys. Let's go! It was the shot that we led him from the uh, from the end there. That was beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm getting so much better at blind firing. It's taken me a long time to get here. And I'm still not nearly as good as some people, but I'm getting there. Getting better. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get ready to use our... Uh, Obviously, I have no teammates. Like, my teammates are nowhere to be found. We know their destroyers here. Destroyer's clearly coming after me. Smoke screen, anyway. Harsh is coming out to play, huh? Good hit on the armor. What is the destroyer? Z44, so... Torp boat. Potentially fast reloading torps. Come on out and play, Harsh. I'll make it quick. He's going to park himself right behind that island and not do a damn thing. He's too close to actually shoot me without putting himself in danger. Problem is, he's got a destroyer near me that's going to be a problem if I'm not careful.
How is that guy still alive? We're about to lose our fucking destroyer. I mean, we're winning this match. May have shot that too far, but we'll go ahead and use it anyway. Yeah, so he's running Mosquito. Which is fine. Oh, he's actually giving himself up to get shot. Get him, secondaries! Alright, so he's got about a 6, 6.1 kilometer surface detectability. And we can expect torpedoes to be coming, because, like I said... Oh, he gets the double. Really? You're gonna you're gonna give him that? Harsh could be here with AP loaded, so I gotta be a little bit careful too. I should be able to finish off Pixel though. Gets the triple, that puts it oh my god. Don't kill me. That's unfortunate, dude. We hit his belt. I tried to aim high enough. Our destroyer getting himself killed there for no fucking reason at the end. Like, both our destroyers played stupid at the end. One at the beginning, the other one at the end. You gotta look at the fucking game. Know who you're up against, right? First thing I would fucking make a note of is where my fucking radars are, right? That's the first fucking thing that I would note. If you know that there's a division that has a radar... And the first thing you fucking spot is someone in that division. You know where the radar is, even if he doesn't get spotted. It's not fucking rocket science. So why put yourself in a situation where you're going to be radared by that fucking guy that's right there? Like, you know he spawns there. It's still a win for our team, unless, unless Harsh pulls this shit out, which, I mean, is possible, I guess. But you can't put yourself in that position. And then the Z-41 there at the end, like, or Z-44, whatever the fuck it is, like, he's way too close. Like, he's got a Palmer chasing him down, and he is, like, two kilometers away from the Palmer. Why? Why are you that close? Especially when you've seen a, or you've seen a radar moving up into position. Right? Like, you, you know where the radar is at. We've had him spotted. You know he's in the middle of Charlie Cap. So why put yourself in that position? Doesn't make sense. Know where the fucking radars are, boys. It's really not hard to play a destroyer. It really isn't. If people make it out to be so goddamn difficult, you're in the sneakiest boats on the game. You don't have to fucking do shit. All you gotta do is, like, play smart and you'll you'll absolutely neuter everything. You can win the game just by sneaking around the map and capturing bases. You don't need to, you don't need to like, put yourself in positions to get yeeted. Our guy radars without being able to shoot the destroyer. Can't He can't shoot any of the things that he's radaring, so he's just relying on his teammates to do the damage right now. Marlboro doesn't overmatch. Palmer doesn't overmatch. GK is overmatchable. Like he can do that. The destroyer gets away again, so there's a wasted radar. But again, we have the points lead. All these guys got to do is sit on it. Just don't throw the ship away. Thank you, Zachary, for two $20 bombs. Comes in and gives 20 memberships on top of it. Also, we hit 200 likes. Thank you, guys. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. I want to I wanna end the game on a good, good game, though. Pixel just absolutely neutered our fucking Des Moines. Turns out radars work both ways. Pixel was able to heal up a good chunk of his health. He is broadside to a Des Moines, though, so Des Moines should be able to neuter him. Not to mention the rest of the team. Des Moines, kill the fucking destroyer, Des Moines! Load up the HE, get that, get that motherfucker. Get him! Yes! Yes! The Z-44 is a moron. Like, why would he do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> there goes his team's chance of potentially, like, carrying. So now they have no spotting, so they have to, like, spot with their face if they're going to have a chance. 
That was a that was a boneheaded move by that Z44. It's like, yeah, I can go kill this divine. I don't have any hit points, but I'll go do it. <laughs> Just pulls out broadsided in front of the Des Moines. Just gets yeeted. Shocker. We have the points lead. They gotta kill our guys to win. GK is doing the right thing, running away. He has low hit points. He knows that's a hundred point swing. Yep, here's here's Harsh. Harsh has no choice. He has to has to force the issue here. Gets he clears the cap. Marlboro does not overmatch him. GK does overmatch. Palmer is running. I guess Palmer is the one that's at the edge of the map. But uh, hopefully Marlboro doesn't get himself killed here. He should be able to hang out. Firing HE. He doesn't overmatch, so that's not a bad play. Problem is, the DPM difference between these ships, plus the fact that he's got a uh, battleship on the back of the map. Only a minute and a half left, so the, these guys waited a little too long to be able to uh, force, the, force the issue. They need to be a little bit more aggressive. If that destroyer was still alive, he could have swung around wide, but instead he decides to double in to go after the Des Moines. One minute left. There's no way that these guys can win this match at this point. Even if they kill this Marlboro, it's a 100 point swing. They still lose the match. So, team did just enough to win this one. Brian, thank you for 20 or er, for two months. Appreciate you, my dude. Going broadside to a Marlboro. I mean, if the Marlboro loaded AP there, he would have just death struck Harsh, which would have been hilarious. making a misplay here shooting at the Marlboro. He should have shot at the other battleships. Maybe he didn't have a chance. Maybe they were behind the island. Yeah, I think they were behind the island. I don't think they got spotted. But yeah, it's GG's. This team did just enough. Man, there were some boneheaded plays in that one. But both teams, especially destroyers. Especially by destroyers. RZ44 had a pretty decent game. He got a cap. He managed to get something. I don't know what he killed, but he killed something. We had a Minnesota that quit playing early in the game because he was getting focused instead of trying to like maneuver himself around to uh, live. He ends up just getting killed. Uh, Pixel uh, Neon is... I did never see him, to be honest. Harsh. Impulse. Actually, we did see Neon. Did, did we see Neon? I th maybe he was the one that spawned mid and went to the right. But yeah. Anyway, that's a thing that occurred. What would 50... Wait, what would equal 50 dono memberships? Uh, it's roughly $50. I, if that's what you're asking. Because it's 99 cents per membership, so I would imagine it's somewhere in that neighborhood. But you should... You already know that. You went... Went and opened up some free boxes last night and got the uh, Rochester for free. Very nice. Uh, that'd be the Smoke Balti, right? Is that is that the Smoke Balti? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I forget. There's too many ships for me to memorize nowadays. Hey, look. Harsh is on my team this time. Even though I kind of waited before I hit the button. Unfortunate. But at least he's on my team. Alright, let's try to get a good game, close the stream out. But thank you so much, Zachary. You guys are crazy. I appreciate all y'all. Thank you guys so much. What up, truly yours? How's it going? 
you get a good game, I'll donate 50 memberships. Oh, okay, so that's what you're talking about. Alright. I'll take that bet. Gotta play smart here. What do you consider a good game, though? That'll be the next thing. Is there a damage threshold, or is it XP? Like, does it matter? Like, I, I don't know what, what you want in terms of a good game. I guess it'll be up to your discretion. So we'll just do the best that we can and see what happens, I guess. This guy is not spotting, so unfortunately we have nothing to shoot at. The other guy is not spotting either. He went over to Charlie. This guy is actually going to go around the island, so he's definitely not going to spot for us. <sighs> so I guess we're about to find out what's over here the hard way. Uh, of course. Now something gets spotted and we have no way to shoot it. This guy's not going to do anything useful. I can already tell you that. He's following me. He, he's not actually trying to do anything useful for the team. He's just following me so far. He goes behind the island. I turn out. He turns out. Like, he's he's just going to mirror me and not spot or do anything. I, I don't know why. Yeah, now I'm spotted. Shocker. If only I had a destroyer to go out and spot things. Goodbye, Mino. Hope you had fun. Oh my god, the Yama shells got there first. Fuck me. Well, fuck it. I'll double back and see if I can get a crossfire since everybody seems to be going over here now. Our team doesn't want to fucking do anything, so I'm going to try to fucking make something happen. Yama followed me over there. Destroyer followed me over there. So I'll go this way. See if I can Some fucking get a, get a crossfire set up. Looks like the left flank should be able to do something over there. This is what I talk about all the time. Like, people do not understand what it means to set up crossfires. They just... Play follow the leader the entire time. Set a smoke screen. Come on, baby. Notice how he's still staring right at me. Like, come on. Alright, I don't know if I've got the pin angle for this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. I just find it funny how many people are just sitting here waiting for me. Just sitting here waiting, holding their breath, waiting for their opportunity. I double all the way back, and these guys are still right in a fucking position to try to counter me. Down goes our destroyer. Shocker. destroyers in the bravo cap all our shells went long that time oh we just gotta hold out till our team comes around the other fucking cap i guess
I can't, I can't have, have like good games like this. Like literally, what am I supposed to do in this game to make this a good game? Like, please explain. Like I try to go to the right, like nobody wants to do anything over there. It's like double back to set up in a crossfire. Everybody on their team doubles back to try to fucking counter me. I've got a destroyer in the center cap. I've got no spotting. Like, how am I supposed to make this a good game? The game's over. Our team grabbed the Charlie Cat. They're going to move into the center now. And they're going to have all the damage because I'm the one taking all the fucking hits for my team. Okay, Destroyer is that far away, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm hoping that I smash this fucking Worcester. Little turd. Gets away with it for now. Yeah, this, this is what I mean. Like, how am I supposed to get a good game in a game like this? The game's over seven minutes into the match. I haven't had a chance to shoot at any fucking thing. Because everybody's been hiding and trying to stay bowing to me to avoid me. So all I've done is spot and, and be shot at so far. It's, it's hard to get a fucking good game when this is what you're up against. Like if you don't get any spotting from your destroyer because they just want to play follow the leader. You take a shot at a broadside cruiser, the Yama shells get there first. So you don't get that damage. And then you just play fucking... Watch everybody die. And then we get overpins on a fucking Yama, or on a Montana broadside. Uh, it's, just, it's just fucking pointless. Legendary tier is so stupid, dude. There just aren't many good players at Legendary tier. I feel like everybody at Legendary tier has no idea what they're doing. Or maybe it's just when I'm streaming, who knows. Watch, now they'll kill them right before these shells get there. Or they'll just completely miss. <laughs> Get me out of this game. Let's move on. What a fucking waste of time. Absolute waste of fucking time. Did you see where our destroyer died? You can say, well, Spartan, he was just going out to spot. No, no, he was going to die. Like, every time that this map plays out, how many times are there people sitting right behind that island, right there where he where he died? Why the fuck is that where you decide to go? If, if spotting is your goal. It wasn't going to spot. He literally was just running in to die. And that's exactly what happened. He ran right into a Worcester. Shocker. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, man. And now we gotta sit here for 30 fucking minutes waiting for a kiting Worcester and a goddamn destroyer to die. So fucking obnoxious. Thank God it's over. Good God. Get me into the fucking next match as quickly as possible so we can get away from all these people that are trying to get in my games, please. I just want one game to end the stream on. I want one game to end the stream on, man. All these stupid games where the entire fucking team just steamrolls are getting real fucking old. Like, I just want a game where it's kind of like balanced on both sides. There's a little bit of a fight that, you know, maybe maybe goes the distance. Steamrolls are real fucking obnoxious. You can't w Fuck me. God! I just... I want... <laughs> I want one game without everybody getting in. Is that so much to ask? Haman's in here. I I don't think Mech is. That's a different Mech pilot. Uh, fucking Harsh is in here again. He's on the enemy team. <sighs> Guys, come on, man. I'm just trying to end the stream. Can I get one game without y'all? One? I haven't had a single game all night where I haven't had people in. Can I, can I get one game without y'all? Clearly, that's too much to ask. 
At least if they're on the enemy team, maybe this team won't get folded. It'll probably be my team gets folded this time. Lord have mercy. Mr. Fox, thank you for the $25 bomb, my dude. I'm trying, guys. I promise I'm trying. I can't. There's only so much I can fucking do. I'm in a gigantic-ass battleship. I got people just throwing their fucking ships away one way or the other. And there's only so much I can fucking do with the ship in seven minutes. In order to make something happen, I would literally have to drive straight ahead and pray to God that this isn't the one game where their entire team spawns right in front of me. Like, I am trying, but we are getting some shitty fucking games here late. Like, I feel like we used all of our, our all of our good games early, which is just my luck. It's like I get to the end of the stream, I want to end on a good game, and I just can't get a fucking game to save my life because literally every game is this shit. Both destroyers spawn on the same side of the map, right? Nobody will spot for the other side, so that side's completely fucked when it comes to spotting. <laughs> It's probably a miss, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, look, it's harsh and pixel on everybody. Here's for some good RNG. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Gets away with it. Oh, lordy. Come on. Full broadside Montana, fully stationary, and I can't fucking land more than a couple of shells. They should have enough time to get there before the fucking plane goes down, though. There we go. That was better. Look at that damage. That was one Citadel. We went from 11,000 damage to 36. That's that 25,000 damage Citadel that we love. Love to see. Go ahead and spot them again. Spot those little turds sitting back there behind that island. Broadside just parked. We know that we have four battleships here plus a destroyer, so we got to be a little bit careful. Dave Wilson coming in with this $6 Canadian. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate you. Mr. Fox, with it. you guys are crazy, man. I'm trying. I promise. I'm trying. Thank you guys so much, man. Get some goats in the chat for everybody. Dude, they got, they got three separate people sitting broadside behind that island right now. If I can get some spotting in a position where I can shoot them, it's going to be hilarious. I am worried that I'm kind of putting myself in a crossfire. Take a shot at Harsh. He's the, he's the more dangerous of all these guys. And of course, I aimed behind him. And the shells all still landed in front of him. We got both their DDs here, too. There goes one of our DDs. Apparently, we missed our shot on the destroyer. Probably got the bounce off the island and got out of there. Our destroyer is trying to get himself killed again. Uh, there's nothing for me to do here. 
I got both their destroyers here. I've got an entire fleet sitting behind fucking islands. I've got nothing. I'm spotted by the Yugamo. Shouldn't be anybody able to shoot me, though. Napoli's right here. Left side can't win their side either. Despite both the destroyers and all of their team being over here, those three ships can't take down two ships by themselves. There's nothing I can do about this. It's just unfortunate. We need these guys to come out from behind our fucking islands. I've got all the range in the world, and I can't use it. Also, our range is only 19.8. I thought it was 19.9. Is it just because we're on a small map, so they reduced it? Probably. I'm sure I'm getting torped right now, so it's not going to fucking matter. Napoli eats the torps. Dude. There's just only so much one person can do in a lobby like this. Like, what are we supposed to do? We gotta wait for them. Down goes our other destroyer. the game they've got cap control they're the only ones with fucking spotting Get rid of that fucking yama i'm not relying on all my teammates to finish it oh but they they do finally dude had no health for so fucking long now they finally finish him Teammate, I need your support. Go ahead, shoot at me. I'm already turning away, so these shouldn't do too much. Get back! If they even hit me. Colombo magically decides to turn away. Just in time to fuck my shot up. I take a shot right or take a torp right on the torp belt. Causes flooding. This is a waste of fucking time, dude. It's a waste of time. Bad RNG coupled on top of everything. Either he beaches or he ends up fucking uh, eating these. Now goes our conqueror. Uh, I don't know what I gotta do to get a fucking game that actually is competitive at Legendary Tier, man. I don't think they exist. I think it's always gonna be a raffle stomp, no matter what. Now I've got the Columbo shooting at my left side. Just a waste of fucking time, dude. Legendary tier is a joke. Zenpo 
One team has destroyer players that are useful, the other one doesn't. Drew, thank you for uh, re-upping for 14 months, my guy. Appreciate you guys. Ohio's fantastic, but we're just getting the worst fucking matchmaking on the planet where literally one team gets folded in 30 fucking seconds, so there's nothing to shoot. Like, literally nothing for us to do in that situation. Their whole team is hiding behind islands. Our destroyers get themselves killed in 30 fucking seconds. Our other destroyer runs all the way across the map, goes straight to a fucking destroyer that, or goes straight to a spot to spot the enemy behind the island, which is fine, but then ends up putting himself in a position where he knows there's a radar right there, right? Like you can see the, once again, you know that the enemy has the fucking radar. You know they're in a division. You've seen the division and where they're located. And you still put yourself in that situation. I can't push into it. My destroyers are all dead. So now I have to double back and try to kite while I'm being hunted by destroyers and trying to angle against General everybody in the Portals. fucking map. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do in that situation. Just try to do your best. Like we are just getting completely fucked every time we turn around by one team or the other. Just and look, Haman's in this one too. You guys see what I'm fucking saying? I can't fucking get away from him. I'm like, oh, I just, I, that, that game's over. I'm going to change tiers. I'll fucking go down to tier seven, play a game. He's here. I can't fucking escape the shit. I fucking hide my screen if I want. It's still going to fucking happen. I try to put a delay on. It still fucking happens. Like, this is, this, this is what drives me fucking crazy. I asked for one fucking game. One game. Where I'm not getting people on my fucking, in my game. And y'all can't even do that. You can't even fucking do that for me. One game. Get a fucking life. For God's sakes, people. I asked for one game. Why can I not be getting in one fucking match where I'm not just constantly getting harassed? And he gets a fucking carrier. Of course he does. There's Leopold, too. There's another person that I know. Is he stream sniping? I don't know. This is the first game I've seen him in, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Airsoft is on our team. That's a complete coincidence. He's in a tier 8, so it's possible. But good God, man, I can't fucking get away from these fucking lowlifes. They just keep doing the same shit. You try to fucking get away from me, you're like, oh, the game's still ongoing, I'll fucking leave. Nope, they just fucking leave the game they're in to come after and fuck with me again. It's enough to make you wish that fucking, like, there's nothing I can do about it. Like I said, I try to just fucking play the goddamn game. That's all I want. I want to have a good time. I want to come on here and stream more often for you guys. But this is what I have to deal with every fucking time I stream. Every time I stream. From the very first game to the very last game. Every single game I've had today. Every game. Three, four, five, six people in a fucking lobby. Do you guys not see how fucking obnoxious this gets? Like, I know it just sounds like I'm bitching, but I promise you, like, this isn't what I want. Like, I don't want to come in here and sound like I'm bitching all the fucking time, but god dang, man, I can't get away from these motherfuckers. They just constantly doing the same shit. They have no other fucking form of existence outside of just trying to stream snipe me, apparently. That is their only goal in life. They don't go to the gym. They don't go to fucking outside and touch grass. These people have no goal in life but to get into my streams and try to fuck me over. And you wonder why I'm not allowed to be a CC. This is exactly why. This is exactly why. I try to fucking change. I try to do better. But this is the shit that I gotta fucking deal with. Why are all content creators leaving World of Warships Legends, guys? Why are all the content creators leaving World of Warships Legends? You got developers that are, like, 
piss of pussyfoot around with all of their fucking like changes that they're making to the game. They're more concerned about making sure that they make all the money they can possibly make than actually making the gameplay experience better for everybody. Right? So there's that. And then on top of that, every fucking content creator has to deal with this shit. Every one of them. I just get it worse because I'm the most, like, widely known. Like, I don't want to come onto the fucking stream and sound like I'm bitching all the time. I don't. I just try to have a good time. But I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to have a good time. You guys make sure of that when you do this stream sniping bullshit. Negative. I've done the hiding the screen. I've done the adding delays. I've done everything that makes the streaming experience worse for the viewer. I've done it all. It doesn't help. Maybe it helps for a game or two. Maybe that means I get one solitary fucking game without a stream sniper. But I can, I can guarantee you right now, if I see one fucking video, one video from another content creator where they come out and they say something stupid like, oh, you always hear about these streamers talking about stream sniping and it's not really a fucking problem. I'm going to go off on them. Like, I don't normally fucking try to be a, a dick. Like, I really don't. I try to be a fucking decent, decent person, right? Like, I always talk about my channel. The goal of my channel is to make people smile. That's it. Like, I want to have a good time. I want you guys to have a good time. But this shit's got to stop. At some point, it's got to stop. himself, of course. Oh, lordy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You guys wonder why I don't stream this game more often? Just go back and watch the three hours of this stream. Every single game, from the first to the last. Enemy destroyer Every one of them. Ship destroyed. That's how it's done. Nice work. Don't taken. worry, hello. We will be playing Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought soon enough. Airsoft just dead struck that man. Our victory is in sight.
do I think that you're going to hit the turret traverse out of the Ohio with the nerf? Maybe, but honestly, let's let's take a listen. Like, out of all the things that they could do to nerf the ship to make it a little bit more balanced, turret traverse is not the top of the priority. Let's be real. Let's just put that into perspective. All right, like, there are so many things that you could do to potentially nerf a ship. Like, a battleship with a, a slower turret traverse is not going to make that big of a difference. If anything, I think they could probably increase the reload a bit. I know it's got Georgia reload, so it's got that, like, what, 24-second reload or something like that. Battle ends in five which minutes. is pretty crazy for 18-inch guns. But I've never, I've never once been in a fight with a battleship and gone, Oh my god, I wish they would nerf the turret traverse of this thing. This thing's too strong. That has never come to mind. Am I wrong? I know, I heard, I think it was Zarku talk about it today. I saw his video on Ohio today. He said something about the turret traverse makes it even stronger. It's like, really? That's, that's the thing that you point to? Like, I love Zarky, but that's the thing that you're pointing to? Like, the turret traverse? Like, I think my turret traverse is 24 seconds on the Georgia, or on the, uh, Ohio. Like, put it into perspective, most of my turret traverses on my U.S. battleships is 30, 31 seconds. So it's, it's only a couple of seconds faster. But again, I, I've never once gone, yeah, this, this ship feels a little too strong. We, we need to nerf its turret traverse. Maybe on a destroyer or a cruiser, something that's constantly like dodging, trying to get out of the way, you could you could affect the turret traverse, and that would affect the damage output because they're not able to be as shifty and keep the guns on target. But a, a fucking battleship, that's not going to make a damn bit of difference. But then again, knowing how how uh, wargaming tends to nerf ships, that honestly sounds like something right up their alley that they would change. Be like, look, we nerfed the ship. What more do you want? We nerfed its turret traverse. Oh, lordy. I will eventually get a game, guys. Let me see. Shamrock, I'm sorry I missed your uh, your re-up for six months, my guy. Brian Volter or Walter, thank you for uh, $2. Stop with the stream sniping. Yeah, exactly. And that was your first ever super chat. Like, that should speak to itself. Like, dude, the first time he's ever super chatted on YouTube is to ask people to stop stream sniping. Let that sink in. I apologize to all y'all. I really do. I hate it. Like, I legitimately cannot stand the fact that it fucks up the entire viewing experience for my, my audience. And it doesn't regardless. If I, if I hide the screen, you guys got to deal with that. Occasionally I fuck up and I don't forget, or I forget to unhide the screen. There goes 290,000 damage Yama game that nobody got to see, right? I put it in a delay. I can't interact with you guys on like a, uh, you know, real time sort of, sort of, sort of thing. Like, it's fucked. It's just a fucked situation. It shouldn't exist. Should not exist. If you have nothing better to do with your life than to go out and try to ruin a fucking stream, you really need to reevaluate what you're doing with your life. Just saying. And that's as nice as I can put it. What up, Megan? Many warbirds. Have a good night. 
What up, Jesse? Radard? Kronstadt? It's gonna be another game where literally the entire team just gets folded. Sub seven minutes. Surely our Alaska can handle a fucking crunch debt. Destroyer came back out and spotted me, so I'm gonna try to loop around the island. I missed. This could be beautiful. I come on, game. Really? Our guy is actually losing a fight versus a Kronstadt right now, and an Alaska. That got torped by the gearing. Alright, this Alaska's being a pain in my ass. He's actually playing really well. Paying attention to my shells pretty well. What up, Dream? How's it going? Connor, appreciate you dropping in. A pool party for Christmas? Yep. I don't think we can do that in Ohio. I mean, it's definitely got its moments where it's warmer and cooler than normal. I mean, we, we've been kind of all over the place this year, or this fall slash winter. Uh, this gearing's not going to engage to Shima. Shima's going to come kill me. Calling it now. Surely this Yama's not still sitting here. Might be angled enough. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if I'll citadel him. I wanna be careful with torpedoes, so we're just gonna sit here for a little bit. Seem to be any torps, so 
move forward. If our, if our Alaska can drop back and allow this guy to come around the corner, I can help him. But if he just sits there, I'm not going to be able to do much. Those guys are handling the other flank. Told you, the game's over. It's seven minutes in. Seven minutes in, this game's over. Also, this is the game switching back and forth. Like this is this is our this is our game, right? Like it can't figure out who it wants to target. I'm not doing this. This is automatic. It does not know. It does not know who it wants to lock on to. This Alaska is just going to play keep away, so I'm just going to come around this side of the island, force him around to our battleships that are on that side. Uh, I'm not afraid of a Yamato here. I should be able to beat this Yamato. Try to make sure we come around the corner angle as best we can. We do have improved penetration. Get fucked. And we forced the Alaska to make a move, and now he's lost all his hit points. It doesn't help, dude. Fanning doesn't do anything. It just means they can't talk in the chat about it. Blocking them on Xbox doesn't matter. Well, I think we had our decent game. It's not a great game, unfortunately, but I think this will be the end of the stream. So thank you guys so much for dropping in. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm sorry again. I shouldn't have to apologize for these stupid people, but good Lord, man. Like, I try. I try. I legitimately try. There you go. Not a great game, but it's only so much you can do when the entire team folds in three or seven minutes. So, 144k, pretty decent game. But, uh,. <clears throat> Oh, God, I'm a whiny bitch. I know. I know it. But thank you guys for joining me. Keep an eye out for the next stream. Dude, Zachary, come on, man.
God, get it together. Guys. I am incredibly blessed to have so many awesome people in my community. Like, I get it. You guys keep me going. And I, I do mean that. Like, I don't think you guys understand that we are tied together. And I apologize. This is not the way I want to, like, come out here and do this. But I'm very passionate about my channel. I'm, I'm a passionate about the mission of my channel. I never set out to make money, right? That was never my goal. My goal was to make people smile. And every time we stream this game, you guys are so generous on this stream, on other streams. Like, you guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much. Like, I can't do this without you, right? Like, legitimately, I could sit here and talk to myself, but let's be honest, that doesn't work work so well but like i know that i am incredibly blessed to have such an audience but that's why the stream sniping and all this shit drives me fucking crazy it has nothing to do with me doing well in the game like i couldn't care less about that it ruins the streaming experience for the viewers coming in to watch the stream that's why i get so pissed off about it like and that's why I want people to stop. Just fucking let the streams happen, man. Why can't people just sit down and enjoy the stream for what it is? Let other people enjoy the stream. Like. I just want to say thanks. We may not have hit our goal of hitting 50k by the end of the year. But that was a ludicrous goal to start out with. Like, I only did that to give us something to work towards, right? Because the the channel the channel had stagnated so badly at the beginning or the end of last year and the beginning of this year. And we have come way too close to that goal. I never expected the channel to grow this much this year. There's probably no reason for my channel to have grown the way it has this year. The audience, you guys, make this channel. You really do. And I just hope, I hope that this message that I've just been trying to get out, like, I'm sorry, like, I don't like to come on here and cry. Like, I, I feel like a little baby right now. But as a content creator, my number one priority is making this an enjoyable experience for you guys, right? Because you guys are the reason that I'm here. So, I just want people to know that I love you guys. I love the fact that people, we have a small community in World of Warships Legends. Like, our community is not that large on the grand scheme of things. So, I'm begging you guys, like, enjoy the streams of your favorite streamers, whether it's me, whether it's any of the, any number of other people that stream this game. Enjoy them. Don't try to ruin the stream for other people, man. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Stream sniping got me kicked out of the CZ program two years ago. And the stream sniping is going to be the thing that keeps me out from ever getting back in. Because this shit's got to stop, man. It's got to. Life's too short. Life is far too short. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. Zachary, I mean, dude, come on. Another $50 bomb? 
Like, you're crazy. And then trip, uh, tri triglide? Triglide coming in with another 50. See what I'm saying? Like, you guys are crazy. Like, you guys have been so generous to me. Over the years. And I appreciate all of y'all. I just, I want the streams to be better. Like, I, I, I truly do. I'm trying to get better, right? I, I am legitimately trying to do better. So, please help me. That's all I'm asking. Just a little bit of help. Love you guys. Have a great afternoon. Or evening. Or night. Or day. Depending on where you're at. But thank you guys so much. And I apologize for all of this.